Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add guides here in Adobe Express. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Express, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Adobe Express does not have a built-in guides feature like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, but you can still create visual aids to help align and organize elements in your design. How? I want you to open the design or project that you're working. If you haven't already, this is going to be the perfect time for you to browse thousands of inspiring templates. But if you want to start from scratch, just click on the button right here. Now, as you can see, I'm working with this specific image. So, um, all of design. For you to be able to add a kind of like a guide here, I want you to click on the uh, margins right here. If you do that, you should be able to have an option to show margins. You see that? And show bleed. So these are going to be your kind of like uh, grid uh, guides. All right. Now here, all I have to do is drag and position the uh, elements that you wanted. I'm going to go to the upload button wherein I can simply resize the file you see that there is a green line right here which shows the margin and that's going to be my clue or guide you see that okay so that's one way all right for you to be able to use guides here another option that you can do is we're going to create a new page click this and same size now i'm going to add elements and um images for example going to go to the media add some photos maybe photos right here this one now i'm going to turn off of the margin and bleed so we guys you guys can see all the alternatives all right now on the uh elements for example i'm going to put in a um a shape right here for example this one i'm gonna put that in here now you can see that there is an option that says border right if you click that and you choose a different color you see there is going to be kind of like a guide so that the shapes and images does not collide all right so that's one of the easiest way for you to add guides grids and that could simulate similar to the familiar softwares that you're using like photoshop and illustrator all right and you just have to rearrange the template to fit your needs. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.